Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Martin de Porres. And as we honor him today, let us pray that we may imitate him in his love for God expressed in his love for neighbor. We continue to offer our masses for our faithful departed that God may grant them the rest and the peace in His kingdom. Let us now be sorry for our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Martin de Porres by the path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, Owe nothing to anyone except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. He dawns through the darkness a light for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king, marching into battle, would not first sit down? and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, Every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, last Sunday, our gospel was about the greatest commandment. And according to Jesus, the greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your being, and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Our readings today deepen our understanding of that greatest commandment, which is love. And our readings today provide us concrete ways by which we can live out the commandment of love. In our gospel today, Jesus talks of the cost of discipleship. And discipleship is costly. Discipleship is demanding. Because according to Jesus, to follow Him and to love Him means to turn our back on our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, our wife, husband, and children, and even to turn our back on our own life. The point of Jesus is not really hating other people because we love Him, because that would be inconsistent to the greatest commandment of loving God and loving one's neighbor. The point that Jesus wishes to drive at is that love is about setting your priorities right. Because your priorities reveal what you love. Kung ano ang ating inuuna, yan ang ating minamahal. And if we are to love God above all else, then the love of God must always be the priority in our life. To love God means to make Him first in our life. Loving is about setting priorities. You cannot say that you love this person if you could not make that person your priority. St. Paul, in our second reading today, also gives us another concrete way to show our love. And St. Paul says, Love does no evil to the neighbor. Ang pag-ibig ay hindi gumagawa ng masama sa kanyang kapwa. For love is always good. And a love that does no good is not love. A love that harms other people, a love that hurts other people, a love that abuses other people is not love. And love should not lead us to do something wrong. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin, kaya ko naman nagawa ang kasalanan ito dahil mahal kita. Ang tunay na pagmamahal, hindi hindi tayo dadalhin sa paggawa ng kasamaan at kasalanan, lalong-lalo na sa ating kapwa. Ang tunay na pagmamahal ay paghahangad 
ng mabuti at paggawa ng mabuti para sa iba. My dear brothers and sisters, Today, we are given an example of a man who truly loved God and who truly loved others. St. Martin de Porres, whose memorial we celebrate today, he was a Dominican brother who excelled in love for God, but also excelled in love of neighbor. And this is shown in the way he lived. He spent his whole day, every day, nursing the sick and caring for the poor. And he spent his whole night praying before the Blessed Sacrament, spending long hours of prayer and penitential practices. In the life of St. Martin de Porres, we could see how priorities are set right. And if priorities are set right, then our love always bears what is good for others. My dear brothers and sisters, love is prioritizing and love is doing good. Today, let us ask God's grace that we may learn how to love as He loves us. Please stand. Let us come to God the Father that we may follow Christ consistently and be able to respond to the demands of discipleship. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope, the bishops, and priests may continue to show forth true discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may lay aside trusts in material possessions and find true strength in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may not turn our back on suffering but may accept the crosses that come our way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who carry crosses of physical, mental, and spiritual anguish may learn to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends who have carried Christ's cross in this world, may now enjoy eternal happiness in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers. We pray for all the souls of the faithful departed and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Father, you know the many different needs we have in this life. Give us the courage to take up our cross and follow in the footsteps of your Son. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create in blessed Martin de Porres, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Martin de Porres and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of blessed Martin de Porres and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We invite you to our healing rosary for the world tonight. Our rosary will be hosted by the parish community of Santa Ana in Santa Ana, Pampanga. And we will pray the Holy Rosary before the venerated images of La Nina Maria and St. Anne. And so let us gather tonight at 9 o'clock as a community and as a family. And together, let us implore Mary's help for ourselves, for our families, for our country, and for the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. Yeah.